Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to something a little bit different today here in Overcrowd. It's time-lapse build uh, because I, uh, I actually played this yesterday, uh, recorded the video like normal, come to edit it today and I've completely lost the audio file. I've got no idea where it is, as in my voice I've lost. Um, the, way that, the way it works for myself is I record the, the video and the audio of the game separately to my audio and it means I can do some level work and stuff with it. Um, yeah, come sit down today, absolutely no idea where it's gone. Can't figure it out at all. Not in deleted, not in recycling bin, not in, uh, well, anywhere to be honest with you. So uh, I don't have time to completely re-record the episode, unfortunately. And um, and I didn't want to just sort of record a new episode with all of this set up and kind of, you know, missing what's happening. So I thought, well, I'll tell you what then. I'll put together a quick time-lapse episode, a mini episode, a 12.5 as opposed to episode 13 or whatever you want to call it. And just kind of show you the basic setup for our final level. This is the uh, the, the final level now, right in the middle of the town, right in the middle of the city even. And uh, from everything I've learned and everything, especially the feedback, thank you so much for all the feedback in the comments as well on this one. Um, I think the, the, the real aim here is to set up each platform and get it running really well before you start opening a second one so here we've set up a single platform we set up a single entrance way um but we've got no benches no uh, you know sort of no nothing that really raises rep like planting or anything like that and um and a, in previous levels i would have just gone okay that's good let's open another one quick let's get some people in but i think actually slow and steady wins the race with this game and making sure you've got this first level really well set up is uh, is probably the best way to go about doing it so uh, with that in mind i'm going to really take some time you'll see i took a lot of time here there's very little building going on uh, and it's mostly making sure we've got a good flow and at the end of each day i'm taking a look at what the problem is and seeing if i can fix that problem you'll see that every now and again it'll pop up and for the most part the issues we seem to have are fumes um overcrowding and, well, that's it, really. They're the main two that we seem to suffer from. Occasionally, it'll be something like vomit or a brute, uh, just if the member of staff doesn't get there quick enough, you know, to fix uh, to fix the problem. Uh, but for the most part, fumes and over and overcrowding seem to be the main problem. So to fix fumes, uh, you have to get yourself some water, air purifiers. I'm little, oh, that was amazing timing. I've just placed one down there. Air purifiers near the stuff that often creates fumes when it breaks down. And the things that break down the most are turnstiles and ticket machines. A lot of people have said you can repair these before they break completely. Um, it's just one of those things I keep forgetting to do, unfortunately. But yeah, you can say it's on like 50%, uh, you know, repair rate. You can send somebody over to it. They'll do it pretty quickly. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, the next thing I do is as I get a bit of money, I start to move these rooms out the way. So this first one, this tool room, I completely move that. And basically that means just means we can open up that area and we can add in a second turnstile. And this is basically a great way of removing that overcrowding issue. Um, so the other thing I did is once I could afford it, I think that's going to be now, is start to place down a few benches and then also place down some PA systems in that sort of station area as well. And basically that just gets people off the train. One of the big problems with, this, um, with people coming off the train is they get off the train they just stand there uh, so the PA systems are going to make them get off the train and go straight down towards the exit and then we've also got Miss Stone I believe stood in the entrance area there with a megaphone uh, whenever she's not doing other stuff I give her the tablet to get rid of late, uh, lost people because people pointed out that even though the maps are good the best thing to do there really is get somebody with a tablet they go straight over to them they get rid of that lost debuff straight away uh, which is really quite useful. Uh, so the only real debuff we're dealing with at the moment is lateness, and we have because uh, I don't think I quite had the money at any point to put down the um, the ticket sheets that, that go above the the track, the, the the sort of you know the ticker tape, sorry, that says you know next train coming in, whatever. That's what gets rid of the late debuff. Uh, there was always something else, and that's one of the things I, I kind of love about this game. There's always something else to spend the money on. It's really sort of prioritizing which of these issues, which of these debuffs you're going to solve. And really, I think the idea is it's not necessarily to build up rep each day, but it's to get rid of all of those things that remove the rep, and then it'll slowly tick up. And I really wanted to get, you'll see the reps up to 49% there. You start with 45. I think it took a little dip to start off with. I think by the end of the video, we get it up to 50, maybe even 51%. Now I'm going to keep running with it until I actually get it up to about 60% before I even start with another platform I think. You'll see there just in the northwest we've got a second entrance so what I'd like eventually is for this whole area to be a huge entrance plaza with stores, places to buy some stuff, loads of uh, turnstiles in and out 
I want to make sure that's a big thing as well so people don't gather up. I mean, you can still see people really gathering up there at the entrance to get their tickets. So I want to make sure the ticket place is a little bit set back, out of the way, stores set back on the other side, out of the way, and there's just a really clear through entrance there. You can see that's a really good uh, line there that we've got of people getting off the train and coming up to the exit. Uh, so actually, overall, I'm really quite happy with how this has started. But again, slow and steady wins the race is the main thing here, I think. It's setting yourself up, doing all your work overnight, letting the day run keeping on top of uh you know defibs and and brutes and all that kind of thing there's quite a few brutes here fortunately i've got a couple of uh, squares there of this sort of weird granite that we can't build into i'm trying to see if i can find a way of fixing it there um but yeah there's a, a weird little bit there that we can't do anything with unfortunately but it's okay we maybe turn it into a an area where there's a couple of vending machines or something so it starts to make sense here just extending the tool shed a little bit there so we can get a watering can because i did want to add some plants down i've never put them down before uh, but they're great for rep and as long as you can keep somebody on top of them so you'll see here we give one we've got one person the job here of looking after uh, the watering can as if the main thing i've done here is kind of giving each person a role sort of um so i've got brown as the janitor so he has uh, the jerry can the toolkit and the uh, the mop and the uh, litter picker and then i've got garcia being our sort of medic basically the three different sort of medic tiers there's the regular uh, regular sort of medic, general medic. There's a drip for people who are overheated, and then there's the defib for people who are having a cardiac arrest. And then Stone is kind of acts customer service, so she can kick people out. But then she's also got the advice tablet and the and the thing like that. Uh, so there you go. That was the end of the time lapse. Sorry. So like I say, a bit of a short video today. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit backed up at the moment with stuff, um, trying to get videos out. So I didn't have time to do a uh, a full repeat of this one. But I wanted to show you what I'd done ready for the next episode that will hopefully be out uh, tomorrow or the day after. Thank you so much watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you to all of our patrons they make these videos possible through their incredible support at patreon.com slash geekism thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one